What a crazy view and a great location. So I'm in the Santa Fe National Forest. I found a pretty awesome campsite area called American Springs. I decided to just drive down the forest road and see what it was like. And there is some snow, but there's not too much at all. You know, I'm surrounded by trees and there's a great view of the mountains in the background. You can see part of the town and wow, it's just a really nice spot. And this is definitely home for the night. Look at all this firewood. It's getting towards the evening now. It's like 6.30. The wind died down. So I want to see if I can fly the drone and then I'm going to cook some dinner. Well, a little bit of a sticky situation here. I was not expecting it to snow this much. The forecast said it was going to snow like a quarter of an inch. And just looking around, it looks like it snowed three or four inches. Look at the top of my truck. This is a lot of snow, honestly. I was planning on staying at this location anyway, but I might be a little bit trapped. <laughs> I don't know, I think my truck can handle it going up this road in the snow. The forecast shows that it gets warmer the next couple days. It'll be in the 40s today, the 50s tomorrow, and the 60s on Friday. I might try and drive up there tomorrow just to see what it's like. And I'll keep checking the weather, and if it's gonna snow anymore, then I might just try and get out of here. Besides that, woke up to an absolutely beautiful morning. You can see the clouds are lower then the mountains in the background, I'll show you in a second. It looks absolutely amazing.
Levels to run Charles. Oh my goodness. Loaded Huevos Rancheros. Looks so good. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. The egg and the salsa combo. The little bit of kick from the jalapenos. Creaminess of the avocado and the cheese. And then the corn tortilla underneath. Just an amazing combo. This is probably one of the better meals I've made on this trip so far. It was pretty easy too. Alright, well, it's been a very relaxing day. It was super windy this afternoon, so I couldn't really build a fire. Uh, I had to wait to do my dishes too. It's kind of died down this evening, and I was able to start an awesome fire. This feels so good. Did my dishes and cooked dinner at the same time, going back and forth and stoking the fire. I finally got my chair, and I'm relaxing for the night, and I'm gonna enjoy the fire and enjoy this dinner. It's been a really good day. Good morning. The sun is rising. It's about 6.45 in the morning. Packed up for the morning, eating my morning oatmeal. I'm gonna attempt to drive up the Forest Service Road and head back to Vallis Caldera. Made it back to Valles Caldera, and this time I'm driving a couple miles past the visitor center to the cabin district. The rest of the roads are closed for the winter until late May. There's about a mile and a half walk that you can do. It's covered in snow, but it should be only a few inches of snow. I suggest going in the summer, but I'm here now. I gotta at least check it out, right? So this is Valles Caldera. So this area of Valles Caldera used to be a hub of ranching operations. And this little cluster of historic log cabins facilitated spring, summer, and fall ranching operations in the area of the Valles Caldera. The location offered shelter of towering old growth conifers, ample spring water for the people living here, and a vista of the Valle Grande, which is the huge 
valley here that I'm showing. The cabins are basically still here to reflect the northern New Mexico ranching heritage that was so rich here. And actually, fun fact, this cabin right here, built in 1918, over 100 years ago, was used in the show Longmire. So this was the Longmire cabin. So basically right now, I'm standing in the middle of a massive volcanic eruption. 1.25 million years ago, this volcano erupted and it was 300 times the size of Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980. All the surrounding states of New Mexico, it spread its ashes and it's just unfathomable to think of how big this eruption really was. Plate tectonics and all the magma underneath the Earth's surface here created a huge force and a giant eruption. The magma chamber underneath the earth was empty, right? So the land sunk into the magma chamber and that's how you get kind of this valley looking area. There's lots of mountains and hills, but there are these huge areas of valleys where the earth sunk after the volcanic eruption. So it's a really cool place to visit. Very important pastime and history in terms of the geology of the area and the forming of this land around the Santa Fe National Forest. Even though it's still March and there's snow covering 90%, you know, I'm definitely still happy I visited it and learned more about it. I definitely recommend you come visit this area, maybe in the summer. I'm back at my campground at American Springs. That was a pretty good visit at Bandelier National Monument. A bunch of different ruins and cave dwellings and cave drawings of the Pueblo Indians here in New Mexico. Very popular national monument, lots of people go to. I'd say it's definitely worth seeing. It's really cool. So yeah, it turns out I'm in a very interesting place, both in terms of geology and history and American Indians and all sorts of things. I really like this spot in New Mexico in the Santa Fe National Forest. Sadly, tonight is probably my last night and I'm going to round it out by making some awesome pozole.
The stove used to be clean, but it's getting a little bit dirty. So we got all our ingredients right here. We have chunk chicken breast, got some white hominy, got a yellow onion, chicken broth, diced green chilies, tomato paste, flour, and then we got some seasoning, some ground cumin, salt, garlic powder, and chili powder. So let's get into it. First, I'm gonna cut up the onion. is not the best can opener, I'll tell you that much. Oh my gosh. That would be so funny if my can opener broke. <laughs> While I deal with that, I'm gonna add the onions. Not exactly happy with that can opener. I'm just gonna have to do what I can and try and open this last can with do what I can get it all right so when these turn nice and translucent I'm going to add some flour and some chili powder there's one and there's two <laughs> To keep stirring this, make sure it doesn't burn. There's one cup of water and two cups of water. Now I'm gonna add half of this can of tomato paste, and that'll thicken it up a little bit more. So I think first I'm gonna do three cups of chicken broth. And I hope I have three cups of it. It might be just a little bit less, a little bit to spare. And then I'm gonna add the hominy, chicken, and then all the diced green chilies. You know what I just realized? I don't even think I have a spoon. At one point I had a spork, but I lost it. So now I just have two forks. I do have a small spork that I use for my oatmeal, but it's tiny. It's one of those camping folding ones. I might just have to bite the bullet and use this spoon. <laughs> well, oh well, it'll still be delicious. While that's heating up, we'll see if we can start a fire, hang out by the fire and eat some good food. So I'm just gonna put a layer of a bunch of these sticks down. Got a whole lot of them. I'm gonna just put a whole bunch more sticks on that. Hopefully they'll catch. Looking pretty darn good. I'm gonna try it real quick. Mmm, that was really good. All right, I'm gonna start with that. Boom. Pasole, yummy. Oh man. <sighs> Cheers. Got Los Alamos in the background. Got a nice fire built. The sun is setting behind me. There's not too much wind yet. And I got my pasole, so life is good. 
Mm. Well, I think that kind of wraps up this video and this trip. You know, it's always recency bias, but this is the most beautiful camping experience that I've had on this trip. I mean, just an amazing view. There's firewood everywhere. There's lots of stuff to do in terms of hiking, and the geology is cool. The history is cool with the Pueblo Indians. There's mountains. There's a town right there if you need to go to. There's off-roading. And the weather's not too bad either, so this has been an amazing trip and definitely one to remember. I can't wait to come back here in the Santa Fe National Forest. But quick update on my road trip. I originally planned to go north here from New Mexico up into Colorado and, you know, Wyoming and Idaho and then back down to Utah and Arizona. But it's still March and I think there's a lot of snow in the mountains in Utah and Colorado and those are the two states that I've kind of been looking forward to the most and I think I would get the most out of it if I waited till May and June um, you know late spring early summer so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep going west I'm going to Arizona Southern California Nevada and then I'm gonna circle back around to Colorado and then continue the loop so next time you'll see me I'll probably be headed to Arizona so thank you so much for watching I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It means everything. This is, you know, a trip of a lifetime and hopefully it never ends. So thank you so much for watching and peace out.